Did you see that? Really good. You had the Buffalo Bills mm -hmm. and the Seahawks, which the Buffalo Bills beat the Seattle Seahawks mm -hmm. with the ending score of 44 to 34. Right. Now, this game was crazy because, one, you're, you're talking about another team that we said were, you know, had the ball rolling, they were on fire. You're talking about the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks right. And not that the Bills were some under average team, they were also in the conversation for winning their own division. Right. And you have. Uh, you know, this matchup with Josh Allen and Russell Wilson also where mm -hmm. both of these, you know, players are being talked about for a possible MVP yeah. season. Right, right. Even though Russell Wilson's fallen off a little bit and uh, the, Bill, the Bills did lose a couple games recently. Mm -hmm. So going into this game, though, I think most people would have had the Seahawks winning. Winning, right. And that that's just... That's just it. Yeah, because like, um, yeah, because I like slept in Sunday morning, so I actually didn't see that. Oh, game. And then, um, uh, with that, like, when I woke up, I remember seeing the score, and I was just like trying to see who won the morning games, and yeah. I was like, oh, holy shit, the Bills, the Bills scored forty four on yep. Seattle, and I was yep. like, that's crazy. So, if you watch the game, well, first of all, Russell Wilson mm -hmm. ended up with three hundred ninety yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, and mm. five sacks. Now, if you look on the other side, you have Josh Allen, who finishes right. the game with 415 yards, uh -huh. three touchdowns, zero interceptions, but was sacked seven times. That's a lot, yeah. It is a lot. That's a lot, So, yeah. this is the major takeaway I had from the game is the fact that when I watched this game, I realized, mm -hmm. okay, these two teams, both of their defenses are doing things. Right. Both of them. It wasn't like the Buffalo Bills showed up and just... Threw points on them, and Seattle was there just taking it in the face. Like, right, yeah. You know, Seattle was there defending. Defending. Mm -hmm. They sacked them seven times, and if you watch the plays, they put pressure. It wasn't just those seven times. It was like every, constant every pressure. Play, right, pressure right. coming in. Mm -hmm. But it was the way that Josh Allen tucked that pressure and handled that pressure mm -hmm. and still completed his passes and the offensive play calling was able to give him just enough time to deal with that pressure in most circumstances and to be sacked seven times, first of all, and not right. have you know given up a turnover. That's that's pretty big. But right. you have on the other side, the you know, what you would consider the veteran Russell Wilson, it didn't right. hold up quite the same. He was sacked five times. There was still a lot of pressure from the Buffalo Bills defense. But he was there throwing picks and it, mm. it just it just looked messy. So was it was it because he threw the pick, or was it just because the Bills defense read where he was throwing it? Because there's it was, there's always a difference right. between like you know what I'm saying with like a bad pass yeah. versus the defender just knowing where the ball is going to be and beating the receiver to it. So. so from what I saw, it looked like he was throwing the pick. So, uh, okay. but it, it's always a little bit of both, right? You, even mm -hmm. if you're yeah, throwing yeah. the pick, the defense is reading it, right? Right. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, but like. It's just it was it was a. It just seemed more apparent that he it right. Was it was not handling or... the pressure as well as Josh mm -hmm. Allen, and I think okay. that's really what the game came down to. It wasn't like he didn't score. Uh -huh. He still did Russell Wilson things. Right. Still connected with Met Metcalf, and Metcalf was being Metcalf, and right. just you know the next Megatron. Right, exactly. Just <laughs> grabbing that ball out right, of the right, air right. and taking it in, but it, the Bills looked on point. Mm -hmm. You know, they were going hard, they were running all cylinders, and that was the biggest thing, was the fact that Seattle was still putting pressure yeah. on Allen, mm -hmm. but he was able to handle it better, the offensive play calling right. probably really helped Ooh. him out, Okay, yeah. and I he was able to connect with players pretty accurately, right. and not make turnovers, with yeah. all the pressure, that was the biggest thing, okay. to be sacked seven times and have constant pressure, you didn't get turnovers, right. Russell Wilson was sacked five times through interceptions because of the pressure. So <laughs> right, and then uh, on the Bills, I haven't really kept up with them. I don't remember which receivers are on the Bills. Are Stephon they... Diggs went over. That's what it is. Okay, okay. You so still have, Diggs. Uh, did Diggs do a Cole good... Beasley, who's okay. actually making some. All right, Cole Beasley. Beasley is a really mm. under like underrated. <sighs> underrated, yeah, is the word, and it's not like he's. I'm not saying he's like oh he's like A B, but he's right, underrated. Right, right, right. Like he's not like that at all, but. He makes some pretty clutch plays Please. when he needs to. Like yeah, this guy's yeah. been around the league a long time, and he did he's just when he was on the Cowboys too. So. Right, just yeah. average, just that guy 
you know, your second He was always team, being overshadowed like, by, like, other receivers. Yeah, other people, right? But, like, I've seen some plays where he's but actually he made some, some good ones. Like, especially plays. in the past. Yeah, yeah. I was actually really, really impressed by this game because if mm. you watch some of the plays and catches that he made, that's really what's, like, saved oh. them a lot of those drives. Okay. So it was these plays by Cole Beasley. Beasley. So, okay. you know, like, he's underrated. People don't give him enough credit. That He's got some hands on right, him. Right. So. But it was just, just Josh Allen was connecting with, right. with everybody. And, yeah. Okay. And he, yeah, and that's he was making, he was just making good play calls. Back, and, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, but being sacked seven times, man, like that just sounds okay. Like it's just weird because, like, if you see it on paper that someone got sacked seven times but still managed to get you're the not score throwing that 44 you four points with sacks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm that's saying. That's a low scoring game. That's a defensive game, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, you're thinking maybe he got like 24 points. You're sacked seven times always means that there was constant pressure. Like these people were getting to you. Yeah, you know what I mean. He probably yeah. threw a couple picks. Because like, <laughs> it's if if not getting sacked seven times, yeah. you can tell like they were. You know, getting close to sacking yeah. them probably <laughs> yeah, even yeah. more. So I was like, so if he got sacked seven times, there were probably a lot of plays where they're getting close. Yeah. And like, oh, probably like right there to where yeah. they could have gotten another sack. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's just like, man, just seeing, just hearing that is just like, that's crazy. It's yeah. something definitely I, this is I gotta I check the highlights for. But. The offensive play calling is good because when you see the highlights, you'll notice that mm-hmm. while there were, it was a lot of pressure, as in, you know, the, the, uh, they were coming through the offensive line. They were going to get to him. The right. way the plays were called, it was it was almost like they knew the pressure was going to be there. So it was handled better, not only by Josh Allen, but also okay. the play calling because right. the line was able to move people. Even though they couldn't stop everyone, they were coming through. They still like they were still able to get the play to, off uh, okay. to the way to, they needed to get it to the way they needed so to they get can it. Win. So yeah, yeah. and again, okay. there's certain drives where like I I wanted to say it was just you know really good connection between the quarterback and the receivers or the right. running backs mm-hmm. because it looked like oh is he gonna make that and all of a sudden it's caught right oh, <laughs> and wow. that's okay. what i was saying like when cole beasley he made some clutch plays and i was oh, okay. just like damn he caught that's that? definitely something to <laughs> check the highlights for i'll yeah. definitely check it out when i get time <laughs> but that's what i mean the whole team was just working and they did really well and mm-hmm. it wasn't that seattle did particularly bad even though they had a rough start at the beginning because the buffalo bills scored yeah, and Russell Wilson had some uh, three and outs at the beginning and couldn't mm. get things going. It took him a little longer to get things rolling to get their momentum. But once he did, he, mm. you know, there was momentum, and that's what it was. They just never recovered from the start where they lost momentum, mm. and the pressure was there for both teams. So I don't consider that like I think there was a really good defensive battle on both sides, and right. I don't think one side had a particular edge over the other. Mm-hmm. Just offensively, Russell Wilson was slow to start, and the pressure was handled better by the Bills than it was by the Seahawks. Mm. But they were at the Bills' home, though. Is that yes? Would that yeah, have yeah, been? They were. Would that have been giving them a little bit of an edge? Uh, you know. I mean, because there's no like, there's not really yeah any 10, crowds right now. Like but, a couple yeah. thousand people in the state. I don't right. know if if any at all. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, I. Well, I mean, you could you could take there's consideration. Always some yeah. Home yeah. type, well, you know, right? You know, yeah, some home advantage. And... Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah, it's. I think it, it it all depends. But it's probably just you know the Bills just had a really good day and yeah. You know, if they if they keep playing like that, especially you know that also makes a statement. Yeah. Because you know that's another team that doesn't joke around is the Seahawks, and it's just like, you know, if you can get a win on them, then that's like, man, you're you're definitely trying to show the league that you know you can you can withstand up to you know the bigger names. And yeah, stuff like that. absolutely. So,